Welcome to ZandaHealth.com. Whether you're new to the platform or just need a refresher, this video will walk you through everything you need to know to get started. So let's dive in. So, this is basically the overview of the interface. Once you log in, you're going to want to go straight to your dashboard. Basically, this is your central hub where you can get a quick overview of your practices activity and you'll see the widgets that display metrics like appointments, revenue, and more, giving you a snapshot of your operations. On the left-hand side, this is where you will see the other buttons. This is basically your vertical navigation bar, and this is where all the main tools and features of Xanda Health are located. Let's take a closer look at each tab. Let's go back to the calendar, which is at the very top. So this is the first tab. Here you can schedule, reschedule, or cancel appointments. The calendar is color-coded to help you easily identify appointment types and availability. You can also filter by staff member or date range to view specific schedules. To create an appointment, just click on a time slot. So let's say around 11 a.m., Tuesday, January 7, and it's going to appear here. As you can see, new appointment, when, where or time and your where is right here which is the location and with who or if it's a client personal or group basically you're just going to want to fill out all of these details so that you can have a very good information in your calendar next is the people tab so this is essentially your patient database you can add new patients search for existing ones and view detailed profiles that include their medical history upcoming appointments, and payment status. If you want to make edits or if you want to view these, you're going to want to tap on clients first. Basically, this is where every client is located. But before we get into these, we're going to want to tap on add. This is where you can add a new client or add a new person into your Zanda website. So add their name, their last name, mobile number, and email so that you can have something to call them with or something to contact them with, and their primary practitioner. Tap on next. And once you fill all of these out, I'm just going to put random words here or random letters. But you are going to have to make sure that the contact numbers and emails are valid so that you're going to be able to write them here. I unfortunately do not have anything to put here, so you're just going to have to do it yourself. But it is that easy. Just add their information, and then they will be put here. And as you can see, under Add, there's Clients, Shared, Contacts, Referrers, Third Parties, and Waitlist. Now, the Sales tab is where you can track your financial transactions. It includes invoicing, payments, and outstanding balances. You can also generate invoices directly from the section. So simply just tap on Invoices and then tap on New Invoice. And once again, just write out the details. And then your new invoice should appear under invoices. Now, if you want to add a new sale, simply tap on new sale and then add the details of this new sale. Or if you have made a new payment, you're going to want to add this by simply searching who the payment is from. I'm pretty sure it's going to take those clients from under the people. So once you search their name, it's going to appear as long as they are listed under the people tab. And for payments, obviously it's going to appear here once you tap on this payments button. You could also add a new payment through here. So that's a, that will be a good thing to know. And for dashboard, we already tackled this in the intro of this video. This is all of your metrics and basically a snapshot of all the statistics and reports of your website. Now, under reports is basically all of the activity and the, well, reports for your clients this is all about analytics basically here you will find detailed reports on your practices performance including revenue trends appointment stats and patient demographics you can customize these reports based on specific time frames or metrics making it easy to track your growth and pinpoint areas for improvement so here you go you could run a report or look under clients financial or system these are all of the reports that have something to do with your clients or their practitioners. Now, let's look at the Tools tab. 
you'll find additional resources like templates for forms, documents, and even communication tools to send reminders to patients. This section is all about efficiency, helping you save time on repetitive tasks so you can focus more on patient care. So basically, these are just external tools to help you create other things like, for example, what I said, forms, documents, templates. This is where you're going to find them. So it is a pretty handy section. Now, under practice manual, this is the practice manual. It's a built-in guide that provides helpful tips and best practices for using Xanda Health. If you ever feel stuck or unsure about how to use a feature, this is the first place to look. It's like having a virtual assistant within the platform. There you go. It's also going to ask you for a legal disclaimer, so you're going to want to accept that. And here we are. So here is basically the overview for your practice manual. Search for any kind of topic you may want to learn about for Xanta Health, and then just open it up and you will be good to go. You will find more information based on more specific things. Lastly, we have the settings tab. This is where you can customize the platform to fit your practice's needs. From here, you can manage user permissions, update your practice information, and even integrate third-party tools. Make sure to explore this section thoroughly to optimize your workflow. Here you have practice, team, schedule, communication, clients, session notes, billing, and payments. You can actually go to the settings of a lot of these things, so it's pretty good to customize how you like it or how you want your work to be. And yeah, that's pretty much it for our tour on zanzahealth.com. This all-in-one practice management solution is designed to make running a healthier practice smoother, more efficient, and more client-focused. Let's take a moment to review everything we've covered and why Zanda Health is a game-changer for healthcare professionals. First, we explored how Zanda Health's intuitive calendar management helps you organize appointments, reduce scheduling conflicts, and stay on top of your daily operations. The automated reminders not only save you time, but also reduce no-shows, which can significantly impact your practice's revenue and workflow. Next, we walk through the secure client profile, which gives patients 24-7 access to book appointments, make payments, and fill out forms. This feature is a win-win. It provides convenience for your clients while freeing up your staff from time-consuming administrative tasks. Plus, the online forms integrate seamlessly into the system, updating client profiles automatically, and ensuring accurate record keeping. We also touched on the telehealth integration, which is becoming increasingly important in today's world. With Xanda Health, you can provide secure, virtual consultations without needing to rely on third-party tools. Everything is built right into the platform, making it easy to provide healthcare anywhere. Another standout feature is Xanda's analytics and reporting tools. These allow you to track important metrics about your practice, such as appointment trends, revenue growth, and client demographics. With this data at your fingertips, you can make informed decisions to grow your business and improve patient care. If you're running a solo practice, Xanda Health scales perfectly to meet your needs, but it's also built for growth with features that can accommodate group clinics or multi-location practices. And if you ever need help, their dedicated support team is always ready to assist. Now, if you're considering xandahealth.com for your practice, I highly encourage you to explore their demo or reach out to their team for more details. The platform is designed to be very user-friendly, but its versatility and depth make it suitable for a wide range of practices, whether you're in therapy, physical health, or any other specialty. In closing, Xanda Health is more than just a software. It's a solution that empowers you to run your practice efficiently while improving the experience for your clients. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if the tutorial worked or if you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.